Okay, here's EFTR, Effector Therapeutics. This finishes at $27.17 today. That is up 111.77%. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is BBIG, Vinco Ventures. This finishes at $10.22 today. That is up 5.8%. So the price it finished at today, $10.22, really doesn't do this too much justice because this hit $12.50 at one point today. Uh, that is an all-time high. So pretty significant pullback, but still a green day for the stock. And maybe the squeeze is not done just yet. So we've been covering this one for the past week. And I've been saying all along that this cannot keep up forever. And it's going to come crashing down eventually, just a matter of when. And I did think that, you know, like after it hit 10, that it would pull back. And I've been saying that it appears like the momentum is cooling off. And today we have a major run. So it looks like the squeeze is not done yet. It looks like we still have some momentum here. And this has been number one on stock twits for the past couple of days. So the momentum, the social media sentiment is still very strong with this. So maybe there still is room for this to keep on squeezing. But eventually this is going to have to come down. Can't say how high it's going to go. And I can't say how low it's going to go. But what goes up must come down eventually. Anyway. Let's analyze this. So first of all, we got two gap ups, one at 160 and another gap up at $3. So those are bearish indicators. That is telling us that the stock is likely to pull back to those prices to fill those gaps eventually. So honestly, those may never fill. I would not be surprised if the 160 gap never fills. That's a long way down, may never go back there. And even the $3 gap may never fill, but I think that one is a lot more likely to fill than the 160 gap. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of $11 and $10. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be $11, $11.90, and then the all-time high $12.49, which it's set today. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be $10. 940, $9, $9, $8, $20, $7, $6.50, $6, and then $5.30. And there is a bunch of support below $5.30, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So at this current price, $10.22, the channels to the upside and the downside are very wide. So expect a very significant amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this comes back down to $5.30, the channels start to narrow. So I would expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this comes back down to 530. The RSI is currently at 79. So that is overbought and overvalued. So be careful, guys. And this did 315 million in volume today. Very significant volume day. So this pump slash squeeze today was confirmed by the volume. So honestly, at this point, it's extremely hard to tell which way this is going. So for that reason, I think it's better to avoid the stock altogether if you don't have a position right now. It doesn't matter if you go long or short. If you take a position right now, that's more like a gamble, not an investment. It's either going to the moon or to the dumpster. No in between. Because based on the technical analysis, this looks pretty bearish. Two gap ups, high RSI, high volume. You know, this ran all the way from $3 to twelve fifty. So... The technical analysis would suggest that it's likely to pull back. But when it comes to these meme stocks, you can't really go solely based off of technical analysis. These meme stocks seem to defy logic. So like I said, there is very strong social media sentiment and the momentum still looks really strong. So it is very possible that this keeps on squeezing and who knows how high it can go. But yeah, the TA is saying one thing. TA looks bearish. But the social media sentiment is saying another thing. Uh, that's pretty bullish. So if you want to go long right now, personally, I wouldn't do it. To me, this is FOMO. 
even if this does keep on going to the upside, this is still FOMO. And uh, I don't like FOMO. So personally, I wouldn't do it. But I can't say that it's a bad play. If you guys want to do it, go ahead. Just understand you could lose a lot of money. This could crash very hard. Now, if you want to go short, personally, I wouldn't do it at this point because while this does look like a good short play on paper, like I said, there is very strong social media sentiment. The momentum still looks pretty strong. So this very well could keep on squeezing and you don't want to get caught in a short squeeze. That is never fun. So normally I would say going short here seems like a good play. But when it comes to a popular meme stock like this, I can't say the same thing for this situation. So again, either way, long or short, at this point, it's a gamble. There's going to be a lot of price action. You're going to be eating tendies or you're going to be eating ramen. No in between. If you currently don't have a position, I would say don't enter. That's probably the best play. And it's never a bad idea to take profits. You know, this is near the relative high. If your risk tolerance is not that high, it's probably a better idea to just cash it out right now. So congratulations to everyone who made money in this one today and the past week. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is BBIG, Vinco Ventures. So here is CLOV, Clover Health. This finishes at $9.45 today. That is down 12.5%. So here's another meme stock that has been high up on the trending list. So yesterday we had a really big day. Went up 25%. It was looking really, really bullish. Goes right back down to 945. So pretty nasty day today. But it's just one day. Overall, the stock still looks pretty bullish. We have the possible cup and handle here. Very deep cup. Top of the cup could be 29, 28, or it could be 13. And the bottom of the cup appears to be $8. So not quite sure how high it's going to go. But this does appear to be a cup and handle in the making here. So that is currently a bullish indicator that is telling us that this might come back to 13, 28, or 29 to fill this cup. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 985 and $9. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 985, 1040, 1080, 1120, 1170, 1250, 1330, 14, 1440, 1480, 1550, $16, $16.80, $18, $22, $25, 28, and then the all time high, $28.85. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be $9, $850, $8, $730, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $
at most you should be able to make 10, maybe 15%. There's really not too much downside potential here. This really shouldn't go below $8. Yeah, you'd be shorting for crumbs here. Really not too much money to be made and a lot of upside potential. So I don't really think the risk is worth the reward here going short. Um, you're not going to make too much money and you can get squeezed out. Uh, but I will say, if this does come back to at least 13 then that seems like a pretty good entry to start a short position. I support going short, but definitely not at this current price, not at 945 So, sorry to everyone who lost money in this one today. Hang in there. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is CLOV, Clover Health. Here is ANY, Sphere 3D. This finishes at $7.08 today. That is up 17.02%. So this stock was trending last week. Uh, it squeezed all the way from around $3 all the way to 12 And then we got some major pullback. It seemed like the momentum was cooling off. The social media sentiment was cooling off. And it appeared like this was going into freefall mode. But today we have a really strong bounce here. So no news or anything to justify this price action today. So I'm just assuming this is another meme play. A lot of apes in here squeezing the shorts out. All right, let's analyze. This might be a dead cat bounce. Not saying it is, but this looks pretty suspicious. We had two very strong red days and a big fat green candle today. Kind of out of nowhere. Seems very odd. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 770 and 670. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 770, 950, and then the all-time high, $12. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be $670, $640, $6, $560, $540, $485, $450, $435, $410, and then the low of $380. And there's a bunch of support below $380, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now at this current price, $7.00. The channels to the upside are very wide, so I would expect significant price action if this continues to move to the upside. But to the downside, the channels start to narrow, so I would expect a good decrease in price action if this continues to the downside. And if this really goes to the downside and it hits 380, the channels start to really, really narrow. So if slash when this comes back down to 380, Expect a significant decrease in price action. RSI is currently at 61. So that is above average, but not quite overbought and overvalued. And this did 87.5 million in volume today. Very significant volume. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice. I would not do that. I don't recommend that. You know, like I said, this seems pretty odd to me this bounce today seems really out of place makes me think it's a dead cat bounce this chart looked extremely bearish the past two days i kind of think it's a fluke don't hate me guys but this is very very odd so this definitely can keep running to the upside but i think that's pretty unlikely uh, i think today was a one-off day and it's probably going to keep pulling back to the downside in the short term at least so i think going long is pretty dangerous here $7 is really not the greatest entry for going long, and this may pull back pretty hard, and if that is the case, then you're going to be holding a pretty big bag. However, I would set my buy orders for $4. It may not come back down to $4, but if it does, that would be an excellent entry. So I would not support going long at $7, but if it comes back down to $4, then I can get behind it. And now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, seems like a pretty decent play. You already missed the fat tendies, you know, which would have been at like 12, 9. But here at $7, this isn't the worst entry. There is still a good amount of downside potential. You can possibly make 40% here if this pulls back to $4. That's a lot of tendies to be made. So still a lot of room to the downside here. Now, it'll probably take a few sessions to get that low because the channels are starting to narrow. So there won't be as much price action. So just looking at the graph, looking at the TA, it looks like a good play to go short here. And I would support that. However, 
This is starting to become a meme stock. It's unlikely that the momentum continues on social media, but possible. So if the apes continue to drive this one up, then this very well could keep on squeezing. But I think the apes are pretty preoccupied right now with BBIG. For that reason, I think it's pretty unlikely that this squeezes. Yeah, I think this was a fluke today, and it's probably going to continue pulling back to the downside. So congratulations to everyone who made money on this one today. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is ANY Sphere 3D. Okay, here is ATER, Aterian. This finishes at $9.21 today. That is up 29.35%. So this one was briefly trending last week on stock twits, but it seems like the social media sentiment was cooling off. Uh, but today we have a big bounce here. Today it's up. And there's no real reason to justify this price action today. So again, I'm assuming this is more ape stuff going on here. More shorts being squeezed out of their positions. So today the stock finishes up really big, up over 29%. So let's analyze. So it looks like we may have a cup and handle here. Possible cup and handle in the making. Top of the cup could be 1640 And the bottom of the cup would be around $3. So it's a pretty ugly looking cup, but still a cup and handle in the making. Nevertheless, so that's currently a bullish indicator that is telling us that this may come back to 1640 to fill the top of the cup. RSI is currently at 64, so that is above average, but not quite overbought and overvalued. But it's quickly approaching that, so be a little cautious, guys. And this did 89 million in volume today. Very significant volume. Biggest volume day ever for this stock. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice. Seems like a decent play here. Um, I personally wouldn't do it because this is pretty far from the bottom of $3. So you already missed out on a lot of value here. But if this does continue up to 1640 that is a good amount of upside potential. So not the greatest entry here at 921 but it's still pretty decent. Still a good amount of attendees to be made. So personally, I wouldn't do it. Um, I would look for a better opportunity with more value, but I couldn't blame you if you wanted to go along here. Um, I could get behind that. And if this pulls back, then you can just average down. And I don't have support and resistance here, so I can't really tell you at what prices you should average down. But going along here at this current price, 921 and averaging down, doesn't seem like such a bad play. And if you want a better price, and you don't want to enter right now, I would say set your buy orders at $5. I think that would be an excellent entry. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, I would not do that. I don't recommend that. Even on the short side, 921 is not the greatest entry. If this does go down, you should be able to make a decent amount of money here, maybe 20 or 30%, but I just don't think the risk is worth the reward here. This looks more bullish than bearish due to the possible cup and handle. So there's decent money to be made, but I just don't think putting yourself at risk of getting squeezed out is worth it here. So it's not a bad play, but there are better plays out there. So I would not recommend going short here. However, if this does come back to 1640 to fill the top of the cup, then I would say that would be an excellent time to start a short position. So congratulations to everyone who made money on this one today. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is A-T-E-R, Aterian. Okay, here's EFTR, Effector Therapeutics. This finishes at $27.17 today. That is up 111.77%. So this stock is pretty nuts. This went public via SPAC not too long ago, like two weeks ago. And since then, it's gotten some crazy, crazy price action. Went from $30 down to almost 8 And then in the past two days, this pumped up all the way from 8 50 And today, this hit $40 at the high. Yeah, major price action going on here. Major squeezing going on here. Pulls back pretty significantly, back to 27 But overall on the day, still a huge gain for this stock. So there's really not too much data to analyze here. But the RSI is currently at 79, so that is overbought and overvalued. So be cautious, guys. And this did 36 million in volume today. Not many trading days so far, but this is by far the 
biggest volume day for the stock. So very significant volume. So this pump slash squeeze today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice, I would not recommend that. I would not do that. I think this was it. I think today was the squeeze. It's looking like it's pulling back now. Most likely, uh, there's going to be a lot of profit taking and a lot of shorts jumping in here. In all likelihood, this is going to keep pulling back in the short term. So if you were to buy in here, $27 is not the greatest price. Not the greatest entry for going long. And you're probably going to get burned pretty hard. So yeah, going long here doesn't seem to make too much sense at $27. But if this does pull back to $10, then I would say that is a great time to start a position. It may not ever come back to 10 but if it hits, that'd be a great fill. And if it doesn't, then oh well. Uh, you can just move on. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice. Seems like a pretty good play. A lot of downside potential. Can't say how far down it's going to go. A lot of bearish indicators here. High RSI, high volume. You know, this was up almost 200% at one point today. So again, in all likelihood, this will pull back pretty hard in the short term. And all you got to do is open up a short position and capitalize on this opportunity. Again, can't say how far it's going to go, but there is a long way down and a lot of tendies to be made. So I would support going short here. I think that's a pretty good play. Now, just be aware that the squeeze may not be over. I think it is, but you never know, you know, especially... With all these meme stocks going off recently. If this gets some more momentum behind it. This could keep on going. Don't think it's very likely but possible. Um, so just be aware of that. I wouldn't be too worried though. But other than that. Yeah going short looks like a great play to me. I would support that. So congratulations to everyone. Who made money on this one today. Consider taking profits. Not financial advice. But it's probably going timber in the short term. So I would lock it up. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is EFTR, Effector Therapeutics. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please, like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.